So, uh, so far we just have had no blood problems with ascorbate. The, 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 the blood just seems to love ascorbate. Uh, the kidneys seem to love ascorbate. Uh, the liver certainly, it, it detoxifies things, you know, and the liver is the great detoxifier. And all it does is it takes some of the job away from it. So all these, all these stories about ascorbate being uh, toxic to the body in different ways, I just have not seen it. Uh, th this brings up a, a very interesting point about experts in medicine. Is that if you go to court and they get an expert on vitamin C, this will be uh, somebody who uh, maybe is the head of the uh, nutrition department at a hospital or something rather like that. Uh, and he's considered an expert. But he hasn't used massive doses of vitamin C on anybody, and he doesn't refer to the, the studies of anybody who has a massive dose. So, I mean, Webster's Dictionary has got this peculiar definition of expert, uh, somebody who has experience, whereas in the medical profession, an expert is one who says what the orthodoxy wants to hear. And uh, so, that if you're an expert in vitamin C, you, you, you become a quack. Because I tell you, that, that there's, I could name 10 or 15 people around the world who actually use massive doses of vitamin C uh, in patients, and they all agree with each other, you see. But they're not the ones that would be brought in to, uh, if there was a trial or 